in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys an amazing hair growth treatment using only two powerful natural ingredients i'm also going to be incorporating jamaican black castor oil and hair fertilizer into this hair growth treatment as well this hair growth oil will strengthen your hair strand it will treat your scalp if you have any scalp issues and it will help your hair to grow much faster so what I love about this hair growth treatment is that it's amazing for thinning hair, hair breakage, and it's safe to use on your kids' hair as well as your hair as well. All the ingredients we added are all natural compared to what you're going to purchase in the store. If you're interested, you know what to do. Grab a seat and let's get into it. So the first ingredient I'm going to be using is mint leaves. So I already washed my mint leaves off camera just to save time. So make sure you wash your ingredients before using it. Then I'm going to go ahead and transfer the mint leaves into the bowl. So mint leaves helps to stimulate hair growth. It control hair loss. It treats scalp issues like dandruffs, alopecia, flaky scalp and itchy scalp as well. Mint leaves also helps to prevent hair fall and it treats head lice as well. Our next ingredient is lavender. Lavender has so many benefits aside from smelling amazing. It's also known for its healing property on the skin. It clears acne and even helps with headache. In today's video, I'm going to be using it to promote hair growth as it works amazing for boosting hair growth. Lavender helps to increase circulation to hair follicles, encouraging your hair to grow thicker and faster than usual. Lavender also helps to grow your hair much stronger and healthy. It's also amazing for bacteria and fungi that is growing on your scalp as well. Lavender is also known for its ability to moisturize while leaving the hair silky, soft, and smooth as well. If your scalp is sensitive, lavender is amazing for you as it helps to prevent itchiness and flaky scalp. So I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of lavender. Lavender is very powerful, so a little goes a long way. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is my chosen oil. I'm going to be adding four tablespoons of olive oil. So the measurement depends on the amount of oil you're trying to make. Olive oil is really amazing. It really works well for all hair type, okay? It's a really lightweight oil. It can easily penetrate into your hair shaft. It's amazing for moisturizing your hair. It reduces hair breakage and it's also amazing for damaged hair as well. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is almond oil. Almond oil helps to soften your hair. It strengthens and repair your hair. It treats scalp condition. Applying almond oil directly on your scalp increase blood flow which helps to boost hair growth. I went ahead and add two tablespoons of almond oil. I'm also going to be adding grapeseed oil as well. I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is amazing for low porosity hair. It's a very lightweight oil, so it's not going to weigh down your hair. Grapeseed oil works really well as a natural hair moisturizer and it helps low porosity hair to retain moisture to the hair. So once I'm done adding my ingredients, I went ahead and mix everything together. So when it comes to the chosen oil, you can add any oil of your choice. Just add whatever oil that works best for your hair type. In order to infuse the ingredient into the oil, I'm going to go ahead and use the double boiler method. So I went ahead and add some water into the pan. I transferred the bowl into the pot of the boiling water. Then I transferred the pot to the cooker. I'm going to allow it to sit in the boiling water for about 30 minutes. The double boiler method takes longer for the ingredient to infuse. So whenever you're using the double boiler method, always allow the ingredient to infuse for 30 to 45 minutes. 
So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So after 30 minutes, this is how it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to cool down for a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to the next ingredient. Next ingredient I'm going to be using is virgin hair fertilizer. Virgin hair fertilizer is used as a scalp moisturizer. It's meant to be applied directly on the scalp to encourage hair growth and treat your scalp from any infection or scalp issues. Virgin hair fertilizer helps to minimize hair loss. It helps to increase blood flow to the scalp and it's strengthening your hair root as well. So I went ahead and add one tablespoon of virgin hair fertilizer. My next ingredient that I'm going to be adding is Jamaican black castor oil. This oil is amazing. It works for all hair type. It will moisturize your hair. Your hair will be thicker. It will strengthen and repair, increase hair growth. It increases blood flow to the scalp, supplying nutrients to the hair follicles. Jamaican black castor oil also prevents hair breakage, dandruffs, and dry itchy scalp as well. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is known to be beneficial for hair and scalp due to their abilities to deeply moisturize and protect your hair from hair damage. Vitamin E oil can also repair damaged hair, split end, and reduce hair breakage. It also helps to stimulate hair growth as well. I'm also going to add few drops of tea tree essential oil. Tea tree essential oil nourish the hair follicles and the root of the hair. It improves blood flow to the scalp and it allows nutrients to reach the hair follicles to grow a much healthy hair. Once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and mix everything together. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So this is how it looks once I'm done mixing everything together. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the mixture aside. Then I'm going to go ahead and strain my mint leaves and lavender oil. So once I'm done straining, this is how it looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my mixture, which is my virgin hair fertilizer, Jamaican black castor oil, vitamin E oil, and tea tree essential oil. I'm going to go ahead and mix it with my uh, mint leaves and lavender oil. This hair growth oil is the most powerful hair growth oil you can ever use. If you're consistent at applying it to your hair, you will definitely see a massive result. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss any useful information because I'm going to show you guys how to apply this amazing, powerful hair growth oil to boost hair growth and treat your scalp if you have any scalp conditions such as itchy scalp, dandruffs, flaky scalp. So definitely make sure you watch to the end. So make sure to mix everything together, okay? Make sure you mix all the ingredients really well together. So this is how it looks. It looks really amazing. It's super, super effective, very powerful air growth oil, okay? As I mentioned before, with consistency, with this oil, you would definitely see results so keep on watching and i'm going to show you guys 
how to apply this hair growth oil to double hair growth and treat your scalp issues. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use this amazing hair growth oil to double hair growth and treat your scalp. So I'm going to be applying it to my son hair in today's video. So he went swimming two days ago and he forgot to wear a swimming cap. Now his scalp is really, really dry. I mean, it's dry. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and apply the hair growth oil directly to the scalp. Okay. Applying this hair growth oil to the scalp will help to treat any dryness of the scalp, itchiness, flakiness, dandruffs. It will also help to improve blood flow to the scalp, which will help to boost hair growth. So as you guys can see, I sectioned the hair into four section already i love working in section this will allow you to apply the oil to every single part of your scalp so i went ahead and sectioned that part then i applied the oil to the scalp you can use this hair growth oil twice a week once i'm done applying the oil to the scalp i use my fingers to massage the scalp scalp massaging is very important for hair growth i would suggest that you should massage your scalp two to three times weekly. You can use your fingers to massage your scalp or you can also purchase scalp massaging brush on Amazon as well. So I went ahead and applied the oil to every single part of that section. Once I'm done, I went ahead and twist that section. Look how juicy that twist look. So you don't have to put your hair in twist. You can put your hair in any protective style of your choice. You can also use this hair growth oil to seal in moisture to your hair. If you're going to be using it to seal in moisture to your hair, remember to apply your leave-in conditioner before applying the oil. In order for your hair to grow, you need to moisturize and treat your scalp at least twice a week because when your hair is not moisturized it's prone to breakage and when your hair is breaking off you're not going to retain length that means your hair is breaking off the same rate as it's growing so you want to make sure to retain length by moisturizing your hair i would suggest if you want to use this hair growth oil to seal in moisture to your hair remember to apply the lco method so as you guys can see, I'm parting the hair into smaller section to apply the hair growth oil to the scalp. I usually use my fingers to finger detangle the hair. Whenever I use brush or comb on my kids' hair, I notice the hair breaks a lot. This is the reason why I always use my fingers to comb it out before going in using a brush or a comb. You can also apply this hair growth oil to your edges as well. Basically, anywhere that you are experiencing hair breakage, hair loss, just apply it to that area. So once I'm done applying the oil to the entire scalp, I went ahead and twist that section. Be careful when doing cornrow. Make sure the hair is not too tight or this could lead to hair breakage. So whenever you're doing cornrow, make sure you don't put so much force or pull on your hair because it's going to lead to hair breakage. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any question for me. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And also don't forget to give me a thumbs up as I mentioned before. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.